That was Bob Kinder, who's the founder of the Kinder Group and a retired military officer whose specialty for years has been security, including as a member of a security task force for Governor Baker. Thank you so much for joining us. Given your experience in this area, how surprising is it to you that something like this could happen, not just at a political event, but one involving a former president of the United States? Well, unfortunately, it's not surprising. Uh, Commissioner Evans discussed it pretty well when he talked about the concentric circles around the principal, and the principal in this case was the former president of the United States. And when you're planning a defense, you have to take into account uh, your most likely threats. And in this case, it was pistols, which are close in, and rifles, much further uh, range. Mm -hmm. A uh, an accurate shooter could could shoot uh, about 600 yards with the AR-15. Uh, the closer you get to the principal, the easier it is to secure them. But the further away you get, it gets much more difficult. There's a lot of ground to cover. And this individual was two to 300 feet away, supposedly. I'm surprised that he was able to climb on top of a roof right. and take a shot. Right, mm -hmm. right, Bob, and that was, that was exactly where I was gonna go next. It, uh, your eyes as a security expert must be on the horizon, even if it's outside the security zone. And, and that, obviously it didn't catch someone's eye, right? I mean, someone didn't see him there. It is very easy to uh, Monday morning quarterback what the Secret Service did they, and, and local law enforcement. Uh, but remember, the ones closest to the principal are looking very close. They're looking for those close in threats. But there's an outer perimeter, local law enforcement, the, uh, the FBI, Secret Service, uh, assault forces are standing by further out and they're looking and they have counter sniper teams mm -hmm. looking, uh, but they miss this individual. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Of course, this investigation is going to be ongoing for quite some time. But of course, a lot of attention is going to be happening towards the Republican National Convention on Monday in Milwaukee. Safety, security going to be a big priority there. Uh, what do you expect to see now following this event? Uh, certainly, it is going to be ramped up security. Um, regarding the outer perimeter that, that everybody's going to be talking about, only in 2022, did the Secret Service get authorized for a proof of concept program for tethered unmanned uh, uh, UAS's, uh, drones, if you will. I was going to say, what does that mean, UAS? Uh, yeah. A UAS, it's yeah. an unmanned aerial system, Got surveillance it. system. But a tethered drone uh, that is being constantly monitored by intelligence personnel uh, there in a command center, would have likely picked up this individual. And I'd be curious to see if they did have tethered drones on, stand, on hand there. Good point, Bob. Bob, it's great to see you. Thank you for your time. We greatly appreciate it.